Hi, and in this uh, Photoshop film, we're going to be showing you how to quickly fix uh, the likes of milk spots on babies and newborn in two kind of quick ways, uh, all based on a similar technique, in fact, but just so you can kind of do a two second fix uh, once you're in the Photoshop envir environment and things ready. So uh, what we're going to be working on is basically a duplicate layer. We're going to be using the dust and scratches um, filter. We're using the likes of the dark and blend mode to replace the lighter spots on the face with the darker kind of cover uh, the covering that we've create, uh, created from the dust and scratches and then we're either going to be just using the erase tool to bring back the highlight details that we don't want want to lose including the likes of eyes and basically lips and obviously some hair as well or we're going to be going to a little bit more of a retouching mode okay so let's kind of go uh, go back to the beginning let's hit the F12 key that resets the image as opened up and you can see all the kind of the milky spots around here and so on. So let's let's kind of just show you what, what we're doing. So as I said, control J to duplicate the layer. And then just coming up into filter, noise and dust and scratches. For my resolution of camera, I'm using a radius six and a threshold four. And then from here, the first thing to do is change the blend mode from normal into the darken. Now remember as I said basically pixels that are lighter than the blend color in other words what we've created are going to be replaced okay so the darker pixels from the layer on top uh, from the kind of the uh, dust and scratches kind of fix that we've done and now going to replace any lighter ones that are below now what that also does of course is kind of takes away the highlights on the eye so if we kind of just go into the eye itself we can see it's kind of just got a little bit more of a cartoon eye now what we want to do is make sure that that eye is basically nice and sharp so to cheat we can basically just use the erase tool and just kind of just go back over the eye itself obviously you you don't need to work in as close as I am here and then all I need to do is any parts of the photograph that we want kind of the de uh, the detail that was light and white to be brought back even things like hair here we can just use the likes of the erase tool to bring the sharpness back instead of just kind of giving it the milky area uh, the milky area so you can see from the layer exactly what I've kind of removed from that top layer to get us to the kind of the great looking fix that we're in let's run through that in real time so again let's hit the F12 key to uh, reset and if I then uh, for the quick fix of course rely on the actions to do the job for us so we hit um, the quick fix uh, milk spots we bring back the eyes bring back the, de the detail on the hair we're now done that's how quick it should be if you've got an area like we are here um, that is a little bit kind of still too much high highlight or you've got a really big uh, kind of detailed area that you want to get rid of then it's probably actually better that you kind of go back to the original and retouch these first in that case for this kind of area area we what we want to be selecting is the likes of the spot healing brush and then just a little bit bigger wipe across that and pretty much that's going to be uh, kind of fixed there all right so switching the one back on top and you can see that's gone already because of the work that we did underneath but if you hadn't uh, fixed it fully obviously if we just go to the f12 again this is how it came in if you wanted that very big highlight to be removed if you know what how things are going to react in the way that you're photographing or with that child then we can just do that basic kind of um, uh, fixing first then we hit the uh, fix button the milk spot and then E for the arrays bring back the eyes bring back the hair and obviously what we're bringing back is the detail of the highlights of course so that is the very very quick fix as you can see it works really quite well uh, for the majority of the time just to prove the point that it's just not on one image okay so you can see here like I was saying before basic uh, retouching work first in this case the little bit of snot within the nose that needs to be done before we do anything so in this case I'm using the stamp clone tool and basically just getting rid of those 
a little bit smaller brush again it would help if I actually went in closer Mark Cleghorn there we go so once I'm there if you felt that the uh, highlight on the mouth there was going to be too much you just go in and get rid of it then you hit the milk spot you get rid of it straight away hit the erase tool bring back the uh, the information including the teeth do not forget the teeth the teeth and the lip that's going to really show the difference and then of course once more bigger brush back into the hair to bring the highlight de uh, the detail back once more so that's a really really fast fix yes agreed let's do it a little bit slower so kind of more of a retouching way where you don't want to uh, apply it to the whole image so this is where we use the next action so this is milk spots re retouch and it's not going to really do a huge amount more except for it's basically going to add in now a mask on top plus it's uh, going to get us ready to do the retouch touching to being in so even though all that work is done what I need to do now is press B for brush and then start to actually paint on the kind of effect because remember black hides and white reveals so black hides the effect if I press the shift key for a minute you can see now this is the dust and scratches kind of look um, that is basically kind of given to the image and then if I kind of press off that again this is uh, it's all hidden and then what I'm really doing is painting across all the area the areas that I want to actually lose all the mil uh, the milkiness. So this might be ideal for the likes of new of newborns, or where you've just got some kind of eczema areas in certain parts of the photograph and so on. So this is where we kind of paint it all in one at a time. Let's show you how to do uh, do that as a little bit of remi a reminder again. So as far as when you're making the action is concerned, obviously we've got to just look at um, what is best across lots of images. So in because we're looking at the milk spots again, we're going to hit the uh, Control J to duplicate the layer. Yes. Then we're going to go up into Filter, Dust and scratch, uh, Scratches under, under Noise. Remember to set it and work out what is best for your resolution. Just going to press OK. At this point, we want to create a mask. And when we click on the mask tool, just uh, press and hold the Alt key as you do it. And then the mask will be black instead of basically uh, white. So obviously, if we just hit the uh, mask tool, it would have been clear. And then we would have had to actually paint black. In this case, we're painting white. So B for brush if it's not already selected. And then you start to actually paint around the skin tone that you want to actually lose all the milk spots with. So one would be a very, very quick fix like you just saw a minute ago. And this would probably be just a little bit more kind of professional, kind of soft blur, uh, blurring going around the image itself and things really. So it's a, a way to actually work as well. So once once more, yeah, let's do, let's do that again for you. So remember, Control J, filter, dust and scratch, scratches are under noise pressing OK, remember to turn it into the dark, uh, the darkened mode. Yep, press Alt as you press the actual mask. B for brush, D for default, and then you can start to actually paint away all the areas of the photograph that you want to lose. Hope you've enjoyed this quick fix. Perf uh, perfect for babies and child, especially with milk, uh, the milk spots or a little bit of flaky skin.